So were you, did Richard allow you to see rushes and, or? Uh, no, well, n yes, but, but I mean, I didn't look at them. I, oh. You know, I, I felt in such safe hands. Oh. Eddie Marsden said to me, uh, are, you, are you watching a bit of playback? And I said, oh, no, 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 I'm ter I'd be terrified. And it was, it was the, the night scene. And uh, Richard let me, you know, when John, when Jack walks down the, uh, the street, he says, good night, Orson. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I said to Rick, do, do you mind if I just say thank you? He said, what, to John Hass? He said, I don't think you'd do it to John Hass. I said, no, I wouldn't. I said, just as he's walking down. That was, you know, yeah. that was a lovely moment. And, and, and he said, let's look at it technically. And he took me, you know, that's yeah, another yeah. lesson. You know, yeah. I, I was being taught lessons by these great actors, world famous director. Um, <laughs> so I guess you were lucky because, you know, didn't actually haven't you done a movie before this? Yeah. Uh, Abraham's Point was after? Oh, that, yes, that, that was, um, yeah, I did that. Uh, but but this, that was a tiny role. This, oh, is, this was, you know, was a job. But you had done TV and shows and stuff like that, right? Nothing, no, not really. Oh, Nothing really? to compare. Tiny oh. little parts, you know. So you really were working with Richard closely in determining. Richard had to teach me how to how act, to act on. for this film. Yeah, because uh, I I'd done the screen test, and, and that was my first lesson. When I saw the screen test, I went, oh, it, it's so theatrical. It's unreal. It looked unreal. Um, and I thought, how am I going to do this? You know, and Richard very patiently taught me because I said I'm playing a larger than life theatrical animal and I said I can't bring myself down you know to confine myself I'm fairly said you don't need to he said but technically you have to develop a relationship with the camera know where it is know what you can do you know and that was liberating you see because I'd gone with the old cliche of um, stage acting right. film acting you know and it wouldn't have worked for Orson or the Orson we were trying to portray him Right, exactly. It was technical things, but, uh, you know, and then of course that gave me tremendous confidence because I knew that, you know, Richard would, Richard was keeping a, his third eye out for me <laughs> whilst doing everything else, you know. Quite and I kept saying to Dick Pope, you know, I kept calling him Mr. Toland. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'd walk up to him and I'd say, are you really going to put the camera there? Because <laughs> I knew it's something that Wells did with other directors. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to ask you about why you chose to shoot it in Panavision because uh, I thought it was a little strange because you, know, you would think it was a proscenium arch and so forth, and because it's set in 1930s. Yeah, they didn't have widescreen then, yeah, of course. Yeah, I might think it, but you know, 185 would be more suitable. Well, I don't know, I really didn't, I mean, if we would have been, you know, strict to the time, it would have been in black and white and, you know, Academy and 133. So that was all out the window. I was trying to go as far away from that Wells film reference points as possible, really. I think this is pre-Wells film career. Let's not even go there. That's a no winner, if you ask me. That would be a, totally going down the wrong path for the spirit of this movie, which I always felt was, you know, has a vague feel. You know, there's a comedic element to this movie. You know, Wells' life is kind of comedy. His confidence is youthful, you know, bravado and the energy force around him that what he brings to things, I thought it was just, you know, there's an element of screwball comedy actually to it. I'm, I'm not saying this is a homage to screwball comedies, but there's just a, we're a distant relation to that. So I thought it was interesting to put Wells into a genre, you know, vaguely into a genre that he himself would never have acted in or made a film about, you know. Right. He didn't see himself as a comic, you know, like, but this, there's elements of the way he kind of, well, it's, funny, it's, it's almost like a Preston Sturgeon. He did those later comedies. London so, Clubs. Well, yeah, the London yeah, Clubs. But, but, the but at this yeah. point, when he's the serious yeah. young when man. He's doing you know, Shakespeare, right? You no, know, he's pretty far from that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, to shoot in color and widescreen and all that. No, it's just, you know, very contemporary feel, steady cams. And I just saw this as on its feet, you know, right. like a play. It's, it's on its feet the whole way from the time Zach comes in. You've got six days to opening night. It's just moving. Right, so you didn't want to do any kind of flashbacks, Citizen Kane no, style? No, or just, you can't <laughs> win. You cannot, yeah. No quotes. Those would have been non-starters. So, you know, you make your visual rules. 
So it's great when you did. You were talking about all this. This was before you started production too, so you could almost get. Because I know you like to have two weeks rehearsal, right? Before or more. I mean, we work in a way months, but not in a rehearsal atmosphere as much as just a beginning collaborative atmosphere. You know, so but yeah, at least two weeks, yeah. three if you can get them. Right, which is nice. Yeah, when we're restaging Shakespeare. You know, it's like we had to do the. The play within the film that alone was right. its own huge production. Blocking that, figuring out how I mean, that was huge. Well, I talked to Roger Corman last month before his honorary Oscar, yeah. and you know he shot movies in three weeks or less. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I, I shot, shot tape I, in six days. I so did four, oh, that meets Macbeth, doesn't it? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. And Macbeth yeah. shot in twenty-one days. Twenty-one yeah, days. Then, you know, before sunset, I shot in fifteen days. <sighs> Oh, wow. Um, you know, Scanner, 22 days. You know, it can be done. It's just, you know, Fassbender did so many of his films in the, between 12 and 20 days. You know, right. it, you can do it. You just have to really know what you, you have to have it going in. Right, otherwise. But what fascinated me was Richard can carry the movie in his head. Oh, you know, like Orson did? Right. That's extraordinary. But he was telling me about shots that then, you know, I saw him shoot, that then I saw on the screen. But exactly as described, you know. Oh, really? Wanted, yeah. Well, I think that would be a prerequisite, probably, for a director Can in a visual a medium to be able to hold a lot of visual information in your in your brain. So that's one gift I probably have. We 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 didn't do many takes. We didn't have time. I mean, oh, the right balance. I'd say, like any other movie I do, you know, somewhere between four and eight and nine. You know, just just enough. Never twenty. Just eight and nine. nine. Have I gone anywhere near that? <laughs> you might not. I wasn't allowed they anywhere near that. I was no. still fine. Oh. But we weren't one take. You know, you <laughs> so you had enough leeway where you, if you said, I, you know, I don't feel this is right, let's do it again. It wasn't. I wouldn't have said that. Oh. Rick would have said that yeah. to me. You, know. <laughs> well, you see, you the beautiful people were, were photographed lovingly from all different angles. And they went, oh, it's Christian. We got, we've got an hour to get eight pages. It's Shakespeare. Let's stick him on a wide, let him go. Because <laughs> you know, we'd done so much work. Because he'd rehearsed yeah. me so well, so I knew Christian you know, the, what I was doing. Ultimately, yeah, he was the easiest actor to work with in the film. Oh, really? Yeah, we worked the longest together. Because he worked three years before. <laughs> By the time we were shooting, he was the one I had the... We were so dialed in, I had the most amount of confidence and least amount of worry, which is great. I mean, if Orson Welles, if you're portraying Orson Welles, and then everybody sees me and Orson Welles. Yeah. Good place to be by the time you're shooting. I didn't realize I was only joking about it. That was one of my yeah. dreadful now, jokes I, about it. I have an interesting question, I hope, which is you worked on the Newton Boys with Vincent D'Onofrio. All oh, right. <laughs> was he ever, obviously, because he had played well? Yeah, we talked movie. about it at the time. I was telling him how much, you know, Ed Wood had come out a few years before we worked together. I was telling him, yeah, I like that. I mean, it's a charming scene. Right. You know, it's a one, it's a one scene kind of. Well, the thing that's wrong with it, it's not the it's the wells of you know of your film, and not the wells of Touch of Evil of that era. Yeah, so it's like I mean, it was Vincent at that time. I guess he's in his early thirties or something. Right. It, yeah, he wasn't. He would have had to been older. Yeah, so but, but those, today maybe because Wells was better. forty something at that time, and you know there was an impressionist though doing his voice. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, it's two separate performances. The voice was different than Vincent's. Was so. that, yeah. And Vincent never copped to that when yeah. uh, back in the time he said, if you look at it just for he was sort of proud. Yeah. Just for a second you might think it's Wells. But you can do that in a one scene. Right. You know, it's like, oh, is he is he not? But that Plus he had Rick Baker put on a couple of appliances on his face too, so <laughs> yeah. made him look a little more like a person. But even then, I mean I'm I know Vince, but that for instance convinced me all the more to go with an unknown. Because look how you look at just that one scene in Ed Wood, you're going, Vince is looking, okay, he's kind of like him, no, not quite, oh yes. It, it, your critical antenna is just, because right. you know who he is and you're, you're judging the performance and you're, you know, you're not really experiencing the performance, you're judging it. And so I thought the magic of cinema could possibly take place if we got an unknown. That you maybe that could happen where you feel like just maybe I'm hanging out with Orson Welles and it's 1937 